What we're selling is the lifestyle. Staying shitty, the shitty lifestyle is just kind of like, just really not worrying about if your cooler's $500 or whatever it is, it's just going out and having a good time. So welcome back to another Shitty Coolers Under Lead Challenge Edition. At first, we I we literally did it as a joke. So I just I was in our apartment when we lived in Belleville, and I literally put it on a napkin. I just wrote "shitty" on a napkin. I taped it to an old cooler, um, and my brother actually bought a Yeti. I had him next to each other, and I oh, who needs a Yeti when you have a shitty? And I kind of showed the old cooler with with it written on the napkin on there, and uh, my friends like my followers like, oh wow, I like that's funny, whatever. Three months later, we decided to make some. Uh, make stickers, put them on eBay and start selling them. So it really didn't take much as far as like the marketing aspect in the beginning. I think that kind of came in like not like within the last couple of years where it's like, all right, if you want to just be more than that product, like you, you might need to, build to a brand yeah, you have to build that brand around it. So I feel like we started as like a parody brand. Hey, check this shit out. And it sounded so stupid but it became its own thing after a while. Like at first we thought it was funny and then it literally took probably two, three months before it actually became a product to where it was like, we were just sitting on this funny idea and we were, we just kept referencing the joke over and over again. We're like, I think people would spend some money to put this on their cooler. That's where I think like we hit like that group of people that like get it where they, they could go out and you know, just not even focus on catching a fish or not like taking it so seriously. The brand kind of is a whole with the name down to the marketing aspect, down to the lifestyle that we're trying to portray on there is just like, I don't care. I'm just here to have a good time kind of attitude. It's like our focus is definitely like the e-commerce stuff. We have had issues with as far as like Facebook and their algorithms detecting like the word shit and different things. We've been able to get like get around that and have them literally see like okay we're a legitimate business we're not just creating like the word shit like we've spent you know tons of money on marketing with them and i don't think it's it's you know advisable to like be like oh yeah they're like they're done so yeah it's definitely a bad like a just a little bit of a battle with the name but it's, and plus it's like i, I don't you know, we have, we have hopes to like come out with some coolers that don't necessarily like have the big block shitty on it. But I don't think from the get go, if our name wasn't what it is, spelled the way it is, formatted the way it is, we would not be here right now. There's right. just no way. So I think taking the gamble on if we would be able to run ads, if if we could actually sell a product that said shit on it, like it was definitely a gamble, but. It ended up paying off. So I think taking that leap obviously benefited us in the long run. The whole concept of it's like odd because like you never really hear of a brand or research anything that is a company based around rebranding something else. Even when I look up stuff or try to like figure out what to do next or where we're going with what we're doing, it's, I have to remember and remind ourselves that we started a cooler brand pretty much ass backwards. Fuck Russell here from Shitty Coolers Outdoors. Are you sick and tired of hearing these cooler companies brag about their double wall mumbo jumbo? I know I am. Now we're making backpacks and now we're look, looking into making a real cooler. And so there's times as of recent when you're moving into those, ordering more backpacks, ordering more coolers, needing the space, you, you tend to feel like you're starting over. You know, other companies have sold, you know, backpack coolers and that, but like as far as our brand, like from the get go, when it was just relabeling that old cooler that you have, it's essentially as if Nike just sold you a swoosh and you could put it on any type of shoe you wanted. It made me realize that like everything is a business. Like it makes me look at every single thing I see differently, whether it's like my you know, daughter's bike sitting over there, it's from China, how much was it? What's the, you know, my everywhere we go, it's like you're just thinking about these things. So it, I think understanding the business as a whole has made me just like completely change my mindset on overall like life, the way I look at different things now, it's completely different than it was before. And I think like for me, like what I've learned through this, just kind of just using whatever you're good at and bring it to where it brings value back to yourself and not so much. We're essentially just branding every little thing that we're thing doing. that we do. We've put our lifestyle into a brand that makes, that generates money, which is kind of awesome.